So let me just grab some text. And I'm going to be really imaginative and just write the word text in it. Right, so let's find, I'm going to find like a nice kind of bold font, um, just so we have like a good surface area for the things that we want to do. And I quite like uh, this one here. Nice, nice and bold. Okay, so one very quick way of kind of messing with our text could be to use a displacer, which is a deformer inside of Cinema 4D. You could then add like a noise shader here, and then you make the displacer a child of the text. That is one way, one really quick way, but we're not gonna do that. Instead, we're gonna create a similar-ish effect um, with a lot more control using the volume builder. And when we use a volume builder, we have access to things called filter layers. And in filter layers, we have um, access to fields. And so we can create some really interesting looking kind of like stylized text, which we can then animate with fields. So, so I've got my text. And what's great is our text is gonna stay um, procedural. So we can change that at any point and it's all gonna update in real time. So up here, I'm gonna grab my volume builder and I'm just gonna drop my text as a child of my volume builder. And it's gonna go super pixelated, which is fine. And then we're gonna grab a volume mesher. Then our volume builder goes into our volume mesher and it looks uh, super blobby and weird. But if we go into our volume builder, this is because our voxel size at the moment is 10 centimeters. So it's quite big. So the way to think of it is it's um, a very low resolution mesh at the moment. So all we need to do to bring our detail of our text or any geometry back we just have to lower this voxel size. So if I, I'm not going too crazy, I'll go to one centimeter for now. We can go lower, um, which we might do, but for now, because I want things to happen a little bit quicker, I'm just going to leave it on um, one centimeter. So now we have our, we have like our volume mesh. And so once we have this, we can now um, take advantage of our filter layers. So inside of this option here, we have our SDF uh, filter layers. So we have smooth, dilate, erode, and close and open. And these all do like a bunch of different things. And you can even, you know, right click, go to show help. And if we go to like filter, we can see our filters here. And you can see kind of visually exactly what these different options do dependent on your offset. So what we're going to do, we're going to go with dilate and erode so we can create sort of this um, slightly eroded um, text. Let me just get rid of that. So we're going to grab a dilate and erode. And if I switch this off and then back on, we can see our text just kind of like puffs out a little bit. And that's because, let me just pull this up so we can see this. We have an offset of five centimeters at the moment. We're going to adjust those settings in a little bit, but for now, we're just gonna look at the fields tab. So we're inside of our dialect, so we're inside of our volume builder, inside of our dialect and erode, we then have this fields tab. And now we have access to all of our normal fields that people kind of traditionally use when, you know, using like MoGraph effectors and stuff like that. And so let's grab a random field. And so the random field is using this um, random noise, which is all we have access to all of our Cinema 4D noises in here. And then it's kind of like using the dilate and erode filter to affect the mesh of our text inside of our volume builder. So I'm going to set my noise type to this nuttiest because I think it looks, um, looks quite cool. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to scale it up a little bit. So we have kind of these larger kind of pieces of um, like noise happening. So I'm going to set it to something like 350%. And so this effect already is looking, is looking quite cool and it's on our mesh. So if we go to, you know, our shading lines, we can see that our mesh itself uh, is actually being affected. Because we're using fields, um, because we have access to all of our different field options, we have access to um, what are called modifier layers as well. So if I click this, um, if you use like, I don't know, vertex maps, you can create a growth with um, the freeze. You can use the delay to create sort of like an echo effect of like an animation. 
Um, and then the curve, if we select curve, it gives us this kind of like um, spline graph here. And then we can adjust this, um, this spline to really perfect or choose how we want this um, random field noise to be affecting our text. So by default, if I click one of the points, we have these um, like Bezier handles, but I actually want my um, spline preset to be linear and I'm gonna draw it in a shape of like a triangle. So if I right click, we can go to spline presets and I can change it to linear. And then if I control click anywhere on my spline, I get an additional point. So now I'm gonna basically like re reshape this into a triangle and we're going to see that it's going to have a have a bit of an impact on how this noise is looking so i'm going to pull this up to the top and then pull this one just down here and then i'm just going to right click go to select all i'm just going to pull this across ah, right click there we go and so now we're kind of choosing a specific area of this random field noise onto our text. So if I switch that off and switch that back on, we can see it's having like quite a quite a strong impact on our text. Um, so what we can do now, so because we're using these um, this field menu, we can then kind of animate this effect happening if we wanted to. So we could come and we could grab a linear field then we can animate our linear field kind of across and animate this effect or any effect that you're that you've created it doesn't just have to be this dilate in a road um, and you can just animate that in and out with a linear field if you want to I'm just going to remove that now so what else am I going to do I'm going to come back to my dilate in a road and instead of being in my fields tab I'm going to go to my filter tab and I want it to look like so I like this noise effect, but I want it to look like it's eroding my text as opposed to kind of like um, looking like a bit of a growth on it at the moment. And all I have to do is set my offset to a negative value and it's going to then take it away from my text. So let's go negative three. Now, oh, now if we sort of come in here, we can see that it's now taking this, um, this random field, this noise that we've created, this noise effect, and it's now taking it away from our text, creating like a bit of like an erosion of it. Um, we can kind of, we can perfect this even more by, you know, increasing our iterations and then we get like a more detailed erosion. And then what we can also do is if you find it's still kind of, the geometry is, isn't smooth enough, we can still lower our voxel size. Let's go to something like 0.5. And it's going to have to have a think about it. There we go. 